Hello everyone. I have a Sony 16 to 50 millimeter lens and recently it, it kind of dropped and ever since the lens would not work the camera will just say the lens is not recognized. However it is clear that when you turn the lens on that there's something not right with how it zooms in and out and it just it feels a little broken. Uh, I was going to just throw it out but I looked up online and it actually seemed like there were quite a few people fixing these. I looked up one video of how to take this thing apart and I pretty much immediately found the problem which they said I've not fixed it yet, I'm going to fix it soon, but uh, I just want to show where I'm at right now and kind of... This isn't going to be so much of a how to take it apart video, I'll go over that briefly, but there are plenty of other videos that are much better that show exactly how to get it apart. So, I was going to get rid of the lens and I noticed that the back of the lens had four little screws on it. Ne never having even thought about taking the lens apart, I took these four screws out and the back immediately came out. There are a lot of these ribbon cables, so I don't know if you're familiar with with these ribbon cables here, but to get them off they're essentially tiny little tabs on the connectors. I don't know if you can see that. But every little connector has this little black probably can't see that because it's so tiny. So every connector has a tiny tiny little black flap like this. They'll move back and forth. So you need to pull it up which will unlatch it and allow the ribbon cable to come out easily. So that, that's pretty easy, there's nothing too strange about that. So you, you get the four screws out, you remove the metal back, then you unplug all the ribbon cables and unscrew all the screws, which gets the board out along with this thing, which I'm not really sure what it is, but also one thing to not miss is there are three tiny little rubber grommets that hold the board in place. So just as you take it apart, keep an eye for them. They're just, they're these tiny little rubbery things, essentially just like a little yeah, you know, it just prevents the, I guess the lens from vibrating or some, something like that. Um, so the next part is the part that took me forever to get off. In some of the other videos it shows this being super easy, but to get the hood off. So now, essentially, the hood sits yeah, on top. And uh, as you can see, actually, I kind of damaged, uh, I scuffed mine up quite, quite a bit. But as long as this thing works in the end, uh, that shouldn't be too much of an issue. But basically... You can see there are these dimples right right here. They're pretty big. So there's four of them, and each one of those is a clip that sits right on the inside of these wedges here. And they sit there, I mean, it's pretty tough the way it's in there. It's, I really spent quite a bit of time poking at it. So essentially what you need to do is get something like a credit card, I use a screwdriver, which I don't know why I did a small one, but you get under the bottom of it and you pop up each one of the four clips which allows this thing to finally come off. But it, it's on there pretty good. Um, you know, I don't think you're gonna get it off by just bending it and trying to clip it off. Essentially you need to get under under each one of them here, like that, uh, under the lens, under and remove all four on each side. Now, after this comes apart, and some of the other videos they show how to take apart the rest of it, but I pretty much immediately found the problem problem based on one of the videos. So the issue in a broken piece is this tiny, tiny little piece of plastic right there. The broken piece is in this ring. See, here's the part that zooms in and out. And if you r rotate this ring at the top a little bit, at a certain point it comes off. There we go. And hopefully you can see it. But basically, this, is, this kind of, from my one understanding, this keeps the position or lets the camera know where it's at in its point of rotation and zooming. As you can see, there's a very small little clip here. It's almost hard to even tell them clips. They're call them clips. They're just tiny little notches. There's another one here, and then, most likely can't see, but there is another one that's broken right there. The magnifying glass, and maybe you can, I'm not sure if you can see that. But there is just a tiny spot that you can just tell something is broken. And because of that, the camera never seems to know at which position during its rotation it is. And as I took this apart, this piece immediately came off. You can even see that it's the same shape, the same size. There's really nothing to it. It's like a tiny little piece of plastic. 
but based on the other video where the guy said that this is what was wrong with his camera I mean I, this this has to be it so I'm gonna put this uh, glue this back in I'm gonna try to put it back together and see if this works I will update as I put it back together but I really just want to say that this seems to be the whole problem this tiny little clip in this ring and that that's what caused the camera to break Right, it appears to be in place. But one other slightly difficult thing here is that the clip is, sl is floating above the bottom of the disc. So it's not kind of flush to the bottom. And there's this gap below it, which makes it a little more difficult to glue it in. All right, I got the three lens pieces back together. And it took about 35 minutes of lining things up. The only real tip I can kind of give on putting this thing back together is watch some of the other videos and maybe use a red Sharpie or something like that when you take it apart. That way you can leave a little mark exactly at the position that it was when you put it back. Because lining three these three pieces up together, it's not easy. Um, so yeah, as I said, I didn't get it on video because it took 35 minutes, but I finally got the thing back together. So now time to just put the board and the remaining things back on. Alright, so I'm trying to get the hood back on. And like some of the other videos show, it should be facing pretty much so you can see the information on the lens. Pretty much basically opposite to the lower cable and then this little one is kind of in between so that's the way they have it it's kind of, there's only four clips so there's not so many ways you can turn it All right, that was easy. So you just kind of put your thumb inside and pull away from each point as you get it back on. It's actually pretty easy. <laughs> 